Howdy YouTube, this is ZipDisk once more with another Transformers review. This time we're going back to the 1980s, to something a little bit G1. Not exactly G1, but close enough. Today I'm going to do an e-hobby repaint of the character Blaster, redone as twin cast from the series The Headmasters. Let's start like I always do with the box. This is his box. As you can see, it's kind of the standard e-hobby box. Purple with Collector's Edition Destron. And though we know Twincast is a uh, Cybertron, aka an Autobot, he comes in a Destron uh, Decepticon box. And the box is fairly nice. It's got the battle scene on the back that almost all G1 boxes came with for the first few. And at the top, it's got the Japanese slogan for Transformers, where it says, It is a world transformed where things are not what they seem. It is the world of the Transformers, a world of heroic Cybertrons and evil Destrons. And that's pretty much the box. I love these G1 -E grid patterns. They are so nice. And I like the Decepticon box. And up here it says Collector's Edition, because that's what it is. Anyway, let me move to the figure. Let me grab him up from up here. This is Twincast in robot mode. As you can see, he's exactly like Blaster, just cast in blue instead of red. He's still got the yellow tape door with the red window, and his gun is now red. Let's take his gun out of his hand real quick. One thing I'm going to say, I love this color scheme even more than the red color scheme for Blaster. I think Twincast looks fantastic. Absolutely brilliant color choices. He's got this, the Blaster face with his eyes colored yellow. And he's got fantastic stickers on him. As I said, this is an e-hobby version. It came out in about 06, so, you know, you'd expect the stickers to be pretty good. The only problem I have with him is a little bitty feet, but that's not a big problem because he's got these huge rest of his feet, so he stands with no problem. Anyway, one thing I wanted to point out was before I saw Graham's video of this, Graham the Collector 75's video, great reviewer, by the way, I had him posed like this with, his, with these big, huge gaps in his arms when he's actually supposed to look like this, which I think it looks great. Now, onto his transformation, which is fairly simple, and if you have a blaster, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Flip the head around, flip it down. Take the arms, flip the hands. So the hands are like this, and you can flip them sideways and push them back up. I love the figures where the hands are part of the figure. I do not like detachable hands. Flip that in, flip it around there. Take that, flip that up, flip it around there. And then the legs, you extend the legs, twist them up, push them in. This is the part I really think, well, flip his little tiny foot in. He's got itty bitty feet. You flip it up like that. And then on the other side, you do the same, but you pull this part out. And the part of this transformation I love is how this connects at the top to form his handle. We'll flip that little foot down. There. That is him in his ghetto blaster mode, or portable tape deck, whatever you want to call it. In the U.S., I always called him a ghetto blaster when I was a kid. He's got a little bitty Autobot rub sign. Let's see if we can get a glimpse of that. Yep, you can kind of see it right there. Autobot rub sign right there in the middle of his pelvis. He's got an auto crotch. Unlike some versions, he has no tape door. None at all. I mean, no battery door at all. None. Now let's move on to the reason why he came in a Destron box. And this is probably my favorite part of the whole figure. This is Flip Sides. Flip Sides is one of the tapes. Actually, it's a re, uh, recolor of uh, Eject and Rewind that came with the original Blaster. In this case, this is Flip Sides. Flip Sides is a female character. And she's a great character. I love her bio. Her bio is amazing, but let me transform her into tape mode, and then I'll get into the bio and whatnot. Transforms just like Eject and Rewind. You flip the little feet back, take off her chrome weapons. I adore pink chrome weapons. These are beautiful. Just look at those. They look so nice. I just adore these weapons, and I don't even really like the color pink all that much. But for this character, they just work so well. Anyway, back to the transformation. Flip the little hands in. See her arms? Flip her little hands in like that. Flip her arms around. 
push them in, flip them around to there. So we've got one side done. Take this, flip it around, push it up, flip it down, and then push a little bitty head in. I love the pink face, by the way. Again with the pink, but with this character, it just works because it's a girl. Uh, I know that sounds sexist, but pink girl works for me. You slide that one in, you flip this one up, and you slide it in that way, and there you go. Her very nice cassette mode. And on her, she says Metal Position MC. But there's these two little stickers that I wanted to point out. One there, one there. This one, when you put her in, black, in twin cast, in this red part, I'd show you, but it doesn't really show up very well. Then this sticker will show you the weak points of Scorponok, or since this is the a, a version of Japanese Headmaster's Mega Zarak. And on this side, it will show the weak point of Fort Maximus. Now you might wonder, why does she have the weak point of Fort Max? Well, that rub symbol, which is showing up already, might give you a better indication. Yes, friends, she's a Decepticon. Flipsides is a dirty Decepticon. And the best part is, she doesn't even know it. Flipsides is the nicest bot you're ever going to meet. She's a sweet, she's caring, she used to be a teacher, teaching young Autobots what to do with them, what to do with their lives. It's all a lie. Every single bit of it is a lie. She's actually a Decepticon deep cover agent, programmed to come in, learn all she can about the Autobots, and then when her programming is complete, she will go out and spill it all back to her Decepticon masters. Now, if that's not hardcore and cool, I don't know what it is. And I just love double agents and triple agents and sleeper agents and the whole espionage concept in Transformers. So I absolutely adore Animated Shockwave. But unlike Animated Shockwave, she doesn't know she's a spy, so she's the perfect deep cover agent. Anyway, this has been Flipsides, and this is Twincast. They're great figures. If you can find these guys and you don't have a blaster or you just want a, this gorgeous blue color and you want flip sides, I'd say pick it up. But then I'm just a sucker for the tape for the tape the tape players and the cassettes. Especially the the e hobby ones. I still need to get those ones for uh, KISS players. Those would be amazing to add to my collection of tapes. But anyway, this has been Zip Disc and you have a great night. Bye.